Oops. That's great. Dude, you know Harrison Ford. Speaking of Harrison Ford, happy birthday. I do know Harrison Ford. Happy 78th birthday to Harrison Ford. I posted this. A lot of people have been asking me about this. So I posted this um, picture of these series of photos on, on my Instagram, wishing Harrison Ford a happy 78th birthday. And I haven't seen Harrison Ford since that day. <laughs> so it was the whole joke was like, you know, right. my good friend, we haven't seen, we were my good friend who I haven't seen right. for 20, 21 years. Um, but the exchange that I've had, that I had with Harrison Ford when I was nine years old was quite significant. Um, like and basically, you know, I'll tell the story really quickly. I, used to, I told this at Barstool, but my mom was high school or no, she was college roommates with, um, this woman, Lisa Hallaby who went on to become Queen Noor of Jordan. Oh, yes. Um, She met the king when she was in the Peace Corps. She was this beautiful American woman who met the king of Jordan. They fell in love, and they got married and had four children together. Um, And my mom was very, very close to her, and she's my sister's godmother. Um, So, obviously, close, close family friend. Crazy. And... We went, we were invited to their 25th wedding. The, the King of Jordan has since passed away, probably like 14, 15 years ago, King Hussein. But he was revered in the Middle East as a, a major peace broker between, you know, the, the Arabs and the Israelis. Oh. Um, obviously, Jordan was an, uh, an American ally, so a very important strategic partner in that region. And um, he was the king for like 50 years or something. Yeah, And... Uh, so we were invited to their 25th wedding anniversary at their estate in Ascot, England. And Ascot, England is where the horse races are. It's like the Greenwich, Connecticut of England. It's very, you know, the, the king and the queen of England has a, has an estate there. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm nine years old. We go over there. (laughs) I'm too young to go to the big party, but somehow my sister at 11 was allowed to go. And maybe she was granted special privilege because she was the goddaughter of the queen that's so crazy i know and it pissed me off to no end because (laughs) i knew who was going to the party and it was like arnold schwarzenegger i knew harrison ford was going to be there the prince prince charles was there it was a star-studded affair and i was left at the hotel with like a babysitter and i was furious furious and maybe that's why they let her name the dog dude She's the queen's goddaughter. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Uh, such bullshit. I was like, keep going. So, what else so I'm really bummed out. The next day, we go to the house for a very intimate tea, an afternoon tea. I went swimming in the pool with her daughters, the princesses, who, by the way, were gorgeous. One of them, Princess Iman, was named to uh, People Magazine's 25 Hottest Royals Under 25. Um, and years later at the queen's 60th birthday, also at the estate in Ascot, I took her for a stroll in the gardens and tried to kiss her. And she told me that if her brothers saw me trying to do that, they would kill me. Her brother, who's now the king of Jordan. No, no, right? no. Not her not. brothers were not. Um, yeah, gotcha. cause the king had had a couple kids from a pre with a previous marriage. Gotcha. And one of those sons, King Abdullah is the king. Gotcha, he gotcha. went to Deerfield by I the know. way. Yeah. Crazy. So this is, story's all over the place now. I know it's hard to whatever, keep track whatever. of, but there, there's a lot of iterations. So, so back to when I'm nine years old. Um, we're at this tea, you know, and there's like 12 people there, very low-key, eating finger sandwiches. A helicopter comes over the house low and banks and lands in the manicured lawn right in front of the house. And out of the pilot seat steps Harrison Ford. <laughs> and out of the passenger seat steps the King of Jordan, King Hussein. That's and crazy. they were friends because when Harrison Ford and Steven Spielberg were filming Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, I don't know if you remember that final Petra, scene. Right? Exactly. Yep. The Canyon of the Crescent Moon is what they yeah. called it in the movie. It's filmed in Jordan at, at a landmark called Petra, which is this ancient site built into the wall 
of the of the face of uh, yeah. of the mountain. You probably seen it on Instagram. It's really fucking cool. It's really cool. And so I think when he was filming that movie, the king would come to the the, the shoot site, and he became friends with Harrison Ford. Amazing. And they kept up, and such such so much so that they were like joyriding a fucking helicopter. I, dude, how funny is that? I was thinking that, like, why is the king allowed to just go with Harrison Ford, who's driving a helicopter? I know, and and Harrison Ford is a known pilot, right? But he's also a pilot who's known to have had some very narrow scrapes when he's flown planes before, Jesus. like landing on the wrong runway, all this oh shit. Oh, my God. So they step out of the fucking helicopter. And, dude, I'm sitting at this table, and I see who it is. And imagine watching – like, dude, this is Han Solo. I'm nine years old. I am dude, I can't, obsessed. I can't even imagine how crazy that must have been. I'm obsessed with Star Wars. I'm obsessed with Indiana Jones. And I've never met a celebrity at that point in my life, ever, right? right. The best is, like, I've gone to a Celtics game, right. and I high-fived – Antoine Walker as he was like going out the tunnel and I was right. leaning over being which you talked about for three years after that or bingo for, yeah yes bingo so they they they're walking up and my mouth went I still remember like my mouth went dry I start like needing to go to the bathroom really badly um I'm super nervous I can't believe what's happening and Harrison Ford sits down directly next to me like Great. he's seated next to me at this table of 12 people. And then we proceed to have like this tea and he's talking to me. Cause I, I'm a kid, you know, and he's like a nice guy. Totally. totally. And I'm, it, it's one of those things where like, I'm very lucky that I was a young, cute kid oh, yeah. because if I'd been like a teenager, he wouldn't have given a shit about me. I wouldn't have given two shits about it. The older you get, the less of a chance you have of that going. Yeah, the less credit and, and sort of, you know, he's not going to want to look like the the nice, elderly, charitable guy talking to the kid. And I'm asking these, like, pretty basic questions. It's all I could muster. Just sh making shit up on the fly. I asked him about this scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark with the blimp. Oh yeah. And they're riding the blimp and they get into that little tiny escape plane and then they're all that the, there's the plane chase. And then they land the plane on the beach and Sean Connery uses his uh umbrella to send the birds up into the sky, which cracks the windshields of all the Nazi planes. Oh, that's from last crash. that's from the last crusade. Was that last crusade? Okay, I get those Connery, two confused. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. So anyway, I asked him how they like shot that scene. And then he like did this very technical fucking answer which i didn't hear a single word of because i was just salivating <laughs> over this but the best part of it all i mean we got those great pictures it's me and my sister we and you know we ended up leaving the table we had to go walk into the gardens to plant this little tree to commemorate the king and the queen's 25 years of marriage i was very gung-ho about that i grabbed the shovel i was shoveling dirt being like look at me i know how to be an adult look, i could be a godchild too yeah but there's that <laughs> my, yeah there's that picture of me walking away with Harrison Ford is my favorite picture. Dude, it's so funny. I was literally from just my life. You two, like, it's like the, the walk you make the night before you're supposed to get married or like there's yes. some important conversation happening there. I was dying. We're buddies. He's so my funny. buddy. And look at how young Harrison Ford looks too, you know? Oh, he, looked, he looked great, dude. That's like he the prime of his life. He had this deep, gravelly voice so that, like, whenever he said anything for the table, everyone would lean in. You know, he just yeah, oozed stardom. I mean, this guy, this guy was Leonardo DiCaprio in his prime. This is the A-list movie star of that moment, and we fucking hit it off. And um, at the very end of it, my parents had asked, like, you know, because I had been desperate for this and didn't have the courage to ask. They asked if he might sign an autograph for me. And he took, he found this pad of, of paper in the, in the house that had the royal insignia of Jordan on it. Sick. It's the crown insignia with some like uh, Arabic scrawl. And he wrote uh, to Francis, may the force be with you, F Harrison Ford. Wow. And I, I still have the note. That's fantastic, dude. And dude, it's it's the greatest celebrity encounter I've met. Like, not to brag, wearing a bar stool. I met a lot of celebrities. Nothing will compare to that encounter that I had with Harrison Ford.
That's magical, dude. I love it. Dude, he really was the fucking man. Like, just the uh, amazing leading man. And also, like, my whole life, he just seemed like he was 45 years old. From when he was younger to when he was older, he's just been, like, in that perfect man age look. He's aged so well. Um, and he's, he's not so a pussy. You can tell right. he's not, like, some, like, girly man. No offense to, like, the, all the girly men out there. But yeah. like, he's just, like, a, he's a fucking strong leading man. It's just nice to see a nice manly man fucking kicking ass in movies dude it's, it's absolutely a lost dude some guy i some guy dm me and this was really cool and he said he'd met harrison ford when he was hiking mount kilimanjaro <laughs> and he showed me this picture and there's harrison ford wearing like gore-tex pants with his windswept bangs That's and it was, he was doing it for his 75th birthday to prove that he could still do it how badass is this guy that's un- that's incredibly badass. That was recently. Jesus. Was, yeah. And then, dude, think about this too, right? This guy didn't. I don't think he did movies or didn't do many movies for a little, like a long period of time. He did that like Indiana Jones oh, reboot yeah, yeah. with Shia LaBeouf. Probably got paid a lot for that. And then out of nowhere, reprises his role as Han Solo in the new Star Wars movie, the only one that was good. Yeah and dies in the end and crushes the role and makes $20 million for it at like, whatever, 73, 74 years old. How sick would that be? It's incredible, dude. To get the call and be like, hey, want to play Han Solo again? And be like, <laughs> sure, 20 million bucks. Uh, sure, dude. <laughs> I mean, so badass. Fucking awesome, man. He's, he's dude, t- cheers to Harrison Ford. You're the fucking man. Um, yeah. Love it, man. That's a great story. If you like that video, check out our channel where we have way more videos. Fucking, I just don't know how to do this. This is unbelievable. If you like that video, we have way more videos on our channel. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want to know when there are new ones. Um, But if not, check them out and we appreciate it. Oops.